The artist in fifth place is... John Holiday. All right, congratulations on a great season. The artist in fourth place is... Dez. Congrats on a great season. Congrats, You and your coach. The artist in third place is... Ian Flanagan. Great season, Ian. Congratulations, you, buddy. Love you. Jim and Carter, one of you is the voice. Blake versus Gwen. Oh <laughs> the winner of The Voice is... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Carter, <laughs> you made it! be on the fly on the wall at the after party tonight. What a season it's been. We want to take a second to thank our coaches and most importantly, all of you for watching. And our yes, we have a winner for The Voice. On this week's talent recap show, we are going to debate the top five finalists. We're going to talk all about the epic season 19 finale and we're going to talk about the shocking winner of the season. Hi, I'm Samantha. And I'm Rachel. And welcome, welcome to, to the Talent Recap, Recap show. show. You guys, it's the finale of The Voice, and the winner is, drum roll please, Carter Rubin! <laughs> I have to say, I've never been more excited to be right in my entire life, because I predicted this. This is my moment. This is the one time I've gotten my prediction right in the three times I've done this show, and I am a hundred dollars richer. Oh my gosh, I know. I haven't been here for all the seasons you've been hosting, <laughs> but I can feel the excitement. She hasn't shut up about it since the win, and I must say, big congratulations to you, Samantha, and to you, Carter. We're so proud, so excited, and another congratulations, okay, you with the money, to Gwen! This is crazy! This is Gwen's year! You got it. Okay, I know you're still going on about her. Just ignore her, guys. Gwen, she's getting engaged. She's getting, I don't, I don't know if she'll get married this year, but she's got Carter, who's on her team. She finally won. It's just an exciting mm. year. Okay, now yeah. you go on about Well, you, you guys, you can actually see our reaction to the big win, uh, which we watched live together, yes. which was crazy. Wait, this is so funny. It's Blake versus Gwen. <laughs> it is. This is cute, though. Oh, oh my gosh. Is. The winner. I just really want to be right. Shh, I'm nervous. I want to be right. Oh my god. I think it's gonna be Jim. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jim can't watch it. Jim oh my oh god. Oh, look how cute he is. So cute. Carter. <laughs> But like you said about Gwen getting married, I don't know, you'll have to go over to talentrecap.com and we'll keep you posted about that. Yeah, but back to Samantha getting excited because she won. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, of course I'm excited because Gwen has been on this show so many times and this is the one, the one season where I felt like she really had a chance and it was pretty cool that in the end it was her artist versus Blake's artist, yeah. which was like the ultimate battle but we should probably talk about the final five and like yeah, the rankings. because it wasn't just one of Blake's yeah. artists it was two which honestly I think was a big curse that <laughs> got that actually I think caused a lot of trouble because we had all of Blake's people who were watching the show and we talked about it before I said I thought the votes were gonna split and leave room for somebody else so yeah, well, I didn't get my prediction right. <laughs> I really think that happened. We had Ian, we had Jim, and I think those votes just got ripped apart. But let's talk about number five. So John Holiday was fifth place. Mm -hmm. I've loved John the entire season. He's been amazing. But I wasn't really surprised to see him at number five. How did you feel well, about I that? I mean, 
you know, each artist gets an original song to perform in the finale, and I have to say, I think John's was the weakest. I don't think the songwriting did him justice. I think they could have went in a different direction that would have highlighted his voice better and would have given him a better chance. I will say I think that song is going to sound really good recorded and on the radio, but I think live, it's a lot. It's really fast. It's really hard to follow. So I think it'll be nice to hear it later recorded, but yeah, it was really tough. Let's go on to number four. My gosh, I can't believe it. My prediction for the winner, Daz, was in fourth, and I'm so disappointed. She was awesome. Her song was really good. The show was great. And then her second performance, I mean, I was just so emotional. She looked good. She sang so well consistently from beginning to end. But I think she just didn't have the votes behind her. That's what happened. I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. But I know she's going to do great things. Yeah, I think she's been the most consistent out of everybody in the competition. But I just wasn't really, really shocked by her song choice. I kind of... No, I'm saying it was good. Come on, the last one. Oh, my god. It was gosh. good, but, like, if it's the finale, you have to do something out of the box. And I, She did! But I, she came in. She brought that level nice down. It was almost country. I mean, it was real. For me, it was like, unexpected. It was beautiful. It was perfectly. She sung every note perfectly. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too much of a show, no fireworks or anything mm -hmm. crazy. And I thought... That's exactly what she needed. Well, you know who's going to settle this? Oh, stop. You guys, you guys, comment down below. Do you th do you think that anybody was robbed this season like Dez? Like, do you agree with Rachel and think that she should have been up a little higher in the rankings for the top five? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that Ian being number three, this is what we expected just because mm. of the way the votes were going this I mean, season. he's been really good and he has that super unique voice. We both had him on our fantasy yeah, team. Yeah, he's the last one standing on my on team. And yours, exactly. And yours, because he was third. That's true, he was the last one. Yeah. But Ian really peaked kind of early in the season. I think we saw him do this climb, climb, climb. He was doing really well, showing us stuff. And then it just stopped from there. It was just flat, yeah. kind of the same, and he wasn't bringing the energy that was necessary to keep that momentum going. I think that's what happened with him. I still think mm -hmm. he's awesome. I'm looking forward to hearing what he has yeah. to put out. But I think, yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why, oh, the, I'm you're getting, ready to I'm fight, she's ready to fight, out. you guys, because I, I beat her, but I think that that's one of the reasons why Jim became such a, a front runner in these last two weeks is because Ian kind of, you know, flatlined a little bit there, and so... Jim got the hometown love. Yeah. He got the love of the Blake voters. He got the love of people on social media, I was noticing. And I just feel like the second I heard him sing in the finale, I was like, this guy is either going to win yeah. or he's going to be in second place. And there's just no other way around it. That's just how the show, the show works. And mm -hmm. if you remember last season... Who won? A, yeah. a, a pastor yep. on Team Blake. Blake. So this is a, a pattern here. And I was That's like, so America could go with what we I, know. I did think that. Or I, America could go with this young kid who normally doesn't, kids like this yeah, don't. Yeah, we'll don't, get to Carter in a oh, minute. Okay. I'm not done okay. with Jim. Okay. okay. Listen, Jim did a really great job connecting with the audience. I think he connected with us. Ian, the difference there was Ian kind of put up this wall. He even said during the show, people would ask him if he was excited or not. He just wasn't giving <laughs> us that energy. Jim really kicked it up. He was yeah. on top of that rock. He was just rocking out. He gave us different actions. He gave us vibes. He really led us into his life. And I think that's why he did so well, too. And yes. Let's move on to your lovely oh. Carter. I do love Carter. I'm not sad at all that he won. I think he, it's very well deserved. He has such an amazing future ahead of him. I can't mm -hmm. wait. I can't wait to see what he does next. Samantha, I can't believe it. You were right. You got the winner. This is music to my ears, you guys. This is the first time I'm right in so long. But uh, like, like I was saying, you know, young kids like this don't typically 
do super well on the show. Um, but he was giving me like some Justin Bieber vibes last night. You know, mm -hmm. think about it. Justin peaked at a young age yeah. and, and has gone on to do so many great things. And now that Carter has gotten all this advice from Gwen, yeah. who also has managed to keep her career going for decades, like I feel like this could be huge for him. And I just honestly think he deserves it. And you know what? He's a New York boy! Oh. So at the end of the day, we got that New York love for Carter and oh, we're just yeah. so happy that he won, but let us know down below. Uh, were you guys were you guys correct with your predictions of who was gonna win? Because I was reading some of your guys' comments mm -hmm. and you know, a little bit of them were, were maybe a little wrong, but let's yeah, let's, let's just read, read them. Exactly. some comments of the week, you guys. I have a few here. Um so someone Someone said, Ava's in, she said, I believe you, Rachel. Yeah, you do. Oh, man, we were both disappointed. We really thought Des was going to pull it out. She is a superstar. She looked good doing it, but just couldn't get to the top. But that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Let's read another comment. We're going to be positive. Um, we have Jonas Reich. He said, it will all come down to John and Carter. Well, you were, oh, he was half the right. The first one and the yeah. fifth one. That's yeah. an interesting comment. Um, Dawn Gay said, are you two actually sitting that close? <laughs> well, now we're closer. <laughs> um, we're safe, you guys. Don't, we are don't, safe. don't We're worry. regularly yes. tested. Yes. Do not and worry. And everything is being very um, well taken care of. Uh, one more comment. Uh, Y'all really, really need to do your research. The format is the same as last season, so it isn't that new. Well, mm. Enrique B, we were trying to say that this isn't the same voting pattern that they've been using every single season. Right. This is newer. This has been implemented in the past few seasons. So. Yeah, and, you know, this year doesn't even really count, right? It's 2020. Mm -hmm. Things are different. Friend. It's pretty new, guys. It's pretty new. We know it, but last season was virtual. This is still a little bit different. So yeah. we got we got one comment. But I'm from glad that they're watching and they're listening that, I to mean, us. That's good. That, that, there, there's a point there. We hear, um, you, we hear you. But T. Palmer actually said Carter will win, and I bet if they actually showed the result numbers, it wouldn't be that close. Whoa, that's a good one. You know what? We talked a lot about the votes splitting yes. and Jim and Ian's votes being lower. I was kind of surprised to see one of Blake's two. He gets so many votes, though. Right. But I wonder if that's true. I bet that's true. Carter might have won by a landslide. I'd love to see the voting margins. Like, how cool would it have been if this 15-year-old kid beat these two men who have been in the business yeah. for a while by, like, a landslide? That would have been insane. I mean, it's all up to those votes. It's like you said. And even Carter at the end was like, I don't know how. I don't know how. I got it. Well deserved, though. He's so, so great. I, I did get chills. So yeah. many so many performances of his gave me chills. He did a really great job choosing the right songs. Yeah, you and know I think what, You know, but showed. like the thing that's so funny about this is that he wasn't on either of our fantasy teams. Crazy. What's wrong with us? Yeah, but you guys, you guys. I know a lot of you had him on your fantasy yes. teams, and it just really goes to show you that someone can start out in the competition being like a little bit of a dark horse or an underdog, mm -hmm. and then they go up in incline every single week, and they just so put on true. put on these performances that really move you, and like you're like, wow, I just saw a 15 year old sing a Muppet song on The Voice, and I almost cried. It was just crazy. I mean, it's so true. We saw that with Jim as well. Yeah. Every week we just grew closer, and like we loved them even more because they showed us how talented they were we needed more time i felt like the season was just so short every week i fell more and more in love with them and i just wanted more so i can't believe the season yeah. is already over this is so sad i'm gonna miss you guys so much i'm gonna miss you oh i'm gonna miss you oh she gives me this fake no news. we can do like an elbow bump all right let's do elbow bumps oh, and full elbow of bumps love. to you guys yes I you guys so much fist oh, bumps gosh. and next season you know uh we'll have nick jonas instead wow. of gwen stefani so that'll be interesting to see how that works out but i'm happy that gwen got her got her win before win. She, before she left i can't believe it yeah. we'll keep updating on the wedding information yeah. <laughs> find out what's gonna happen next season but we have a while until then yeah. So in the meantime, I really want you guys to leave us some comments below. What was your favorite part of the season? And are you going to miss us? Because I'm definitely going to miss them. Uh, are you going to miss them? I'm going to miss you. Oh, but She's going to miss you. Don't worry. I'm going to leave you some lovely comments over on your Instagram. Oh, Where yes, can they find you? You can. Please come and find me at rachelgreen.tv on Instagram, guys. Let's connect. Let's talk a little bit. Let's talk about the season. 
Samantha, what about you? Where can they find you? You can find me at SamanthaX373, gloating about my winning prediction. Uh, but while you guys are on YouTube, you should hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social medias and head over to TalentRecap.com because we have all the scoop on The Voice. Happy holidays, you guys. It's been a great season. Yes. And for one last time, I think it's time oh, for us to say, and, and that's, that's our, our Talent, Talent Recap. Recap. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below and then we can talk.